Yeah, grand, handsome victory and all the rest of it. But is that Munster's ambition really at the moment to be Pro 12, top two, possibly champions? Yeah, I think it has to be. You know, obviously you'd have to deal with disappointment of being knocked out of the, the Champions Cup. It's, it's something, you know... But medium term I'm talking about. Medium term for sure. Yeah, they've got to push on now and get a home draw. Financially as well, if they want to recruit, you know, world-class players, it's going to be important to have a, a home game. And to win it, it's important to have silverware. Having, uh, and they have, they have the opportunity. The other teams, or Leinster have got the distraction of of being in the Champions Cup and hopefully they'll get through the next round but whereas Munster now can really just focus on, on one thing and get some uh, get something to build on for next season I think it's important Well I, I tell you you know obviously the, there's been a lot of talk during the season about how Munster have done positive and negative and all that sure. kind of stuff but I think you know if they get through this season and you know and if I, I, I would definitely tip them to actually win the, the Pro 12 this year I, I really, really do, especially when they get their players back from, uh, from, from the Irish setup. I think they'll be very, very good next season. Mm. If if they get a couple of quality marquee signings, when well, we talked with Jack O'Donoghue, a couple of mm. lads like that coming through, but there doesn't seem to be any sign of a Jean de Villiers type signing. I mean, whether the money's there or not is a separate question. But Munster, five six years ago, were attracting guys who were serious, world class profile players. That pro doesn't happen anymore. The problem is there. There's, there's actually not many world class players in the market. Everyone thought World Cup year. You know, you're going to have a, a lottery. You can pick who you want. All Blacks, yeah. Springboks, Wallabies. Any of the good guys have, have already signed up. Well, not every, any of them, but the, guy, the, the guys with 50-60 caps, they're done deals. And New Zealand are very competitive now. The All Blacks want to stay because they've got the Lions Tour coming, coming in a year's time. Right. So the New Zealand Federation are able to pay money. The Euro, the Euro is not strong. Um, so, yeah. you know, I, I'm seeing it day to day. It's actually harder now to attract guys. Yeah. So Munster, they definitely will go and, and, and sign two players. But, you know, it's not as easy as just going out to the market and, and, and getting a John de Villiers or a Dougie Howell anymore. It's Interesting just, what you said about the currency there because obviously the English clubs are in great shape. English the clubs are in great shape. Sterling's worth the And fortune. they have a second marquee player which doesn't count for the salary cap. Sure. So in actual fact, it's not the French teams, speaking to agents, it's not the French teams who are strong at the moment. The French teams are struggling to compete with the English. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, but overall, CJ Stander, positives out of that game. I think he was his fifth man of the match of the season or something like that. Now, he does look... Uh, on his day, like the top of the range, top of the bus player. Is he, in your opinion, um, as good a player when it comes to you know, playing the Toulons and playing the Claremonts? Yeah, I think he has the potential to be uh, an international standard player, there's no doubt. Um, he has some s small deficiencies. Like what? Um, I think in his ball handling, right. his distribution, and maybe you know, his incredible power going forward into the contact area. He's just putting some footwork on that, mm. because I think he can even do better. Um, he's improved his game so much since he's arrived. I think his work rate has improved dramatically. His fitness levels, his strength. And he's a real go-forward player for Munster. When he plays well, Munster play well. Mm -hmm. 21 carries the other day, it's, it's, it's a great stat. It's a great amount of time to be popping up. So he's not just making a big carry out of you know, every 10 minutes in the game. He's now trying to get on the ball very regularly. And 95% 90, mm. of his carries are actually over the gain line. And you, you know that as coaches. When you can get over that gain line, and he was very, very good on Saturday. Tommy O'Donnell was superb as well. Yeah, for the last 20 minutes. Really positive. Well. And I was delighted for him because, you know, he, 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 he played well against England, uh, off the squad. And Zebo as well, playing with a smile on his face. Earls. Great, uh, yeah, great can I have a quick word on Keith Earls there as well? Because, I mean, he's just looking like unlucky. If he was in the form that he's in now in January, surely he'd have been part of the Six Nations. And that's the look of the draw, in fairness. Right. And, and in fairness, World Keith... Cup coming, though. Yeah, Keith has had, you know, obviously chance. very, very bad, bad, bad luck with injuries and stuff mm. like that. But um, there's no doubt in his class. And, you know, he's starting to show it again now with, uh, with Munster. I think, you know, he's, you know, in a way, he missed, the, he, he missed the Six Nations. But if he really, really just keeps, keeps it between the ditches, he could be, he could be set for the World Cup. From, from yeah. what you're saying, I think Munster have to get a home semi-final. Right. They're in a great position. Yeah, and, looking and at the fixtures, Edinburgh away, Dragons Treviso at home, you'd, you'd have to say two bonus points, and then Ulster away. The Ulster one is tricky. The Edinburgh one is tricky, no doubt, and they played well against Scarlets at the weekend. They're going for but six. You'd yeah. have to say with four games left, they need to really I, kick yeah. on here. And if they can get into that semi-final yeah. spot with the players back, they've, they've well, a chance. the next few weeks to enjoy. But anyone can beat anyone in that. Mm -hmm. that yeah. But home advantage has, has, has made a difference sure, in the last uh, few years. Yeah, financially and, and I suppose for the just the morale and everything else.